Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, uh, GUB75. Uh, today we will talk about the important topic proinon. Uh, what are the that it proinons, what it is, how it is helping uh, to understand the history of the city bins, and then we lay to, to the history of the earth or the region or the place where we study those sediments uh, so uh, what does it literally mean is where something is originated so the pronouns where something originated that is the literal meanings of pronouns uh, the pronouns of a sediments uh, is inferred from aspects of composition uh, for example if you talk about the pronouns you must talk about the composition of those sediments and then the source rock or the source area where the tectonic uh, process or forces flip those area uh, tectonically actively expose those rocks for with and then after that the climatic character of that source area uh, will have to define which minerals will be present in the sediments and which one will be eroded so these three the composition the tectonic setting and the climate condition are the basic factors that influence it upon the proinance a sediment uh, so going forward the first thing that is tectonic city ways i mentioned when there is a tectonic forces Flip those area and the available those rocks for bathing. And then we have a two type of weathering physical weathering, another is chemical weathering. So both those chemical and physical weathering are just transform those rocks in sediments. Weathering, there is duration, and then sediments will from upstream downstream so when we have given example for example if we have arcosic sandstone so the arcosic sandstone have greater than 24 percent of its power uh, so we say this type of arc is source area where the source area of arcosic sandstone which is enriched in pills power is granite so this granite source will give or will transport its spar to that depositional site and then we have the deposition or the production in stone another example a mountain chain adjacent to a convergent margin for example uh, modern andes is those uh, area where how the production are exposed of those granitic rock to the weathering process and then weathering process is afraid and then then produce our production per spar when that per spar is going downstream as they deposited down the stream to generate a the arc an exposed craton is another uh, options or another source area for example in Indian rock they are also the area where we have granite composition when that granite composition is exposed due to tectonic sitting and then we have the weathering processes and then they generate pelspar from which is a key uh, component of the granitic rock and then these pits is then transported downstream and they deposited uh, arcosic and stone okay uh it is not uh pool proof uh there may be some uncertainty because uh, there is a lot of diversity in the nature so these are two very different tectonic cities so may have to generate another type of component as well as if we have 
if we have a very hot and humid condition we have a chemical weathering as it is peak so then we have all those spilled spot that is generated by the weathering processes physical weathering processes will be trans uh, transform or then gender uh, will be altered is 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 the is the perfect uh, term will be altered and to a light and kaolinite clay so then we have a very limited or uh, no pair spot then we have some of those are kozik stone or other type of stone will be deposited that is not pole fruit but that is the example for example if we have a sandstone uh, with abundance of volcanic and low grade metamorphic so then the origin of that uh, if we have the fragments of metamorphic rock and the low grade metamorphic rock and then we have the abundance of volcanic uh, rock or uh, fragments then uh, what this area will represent is it will represent indoor type of for example have the iceland uh Iceland in between russian and indian so that will produce another type of which have the abundance of volcanic and low grain treatment so quartz erinite is another type of product that is generated from the sedimentary uh, if they are uplifted sediments in in virginic bed then we have the quartz and quartz is a very soft strong metal cannot be altered easily so that's why if we have ore belt and we have hot and humid so when the physical chemical uh, weathering uh, processes or cycling uh, cycles well uh, through our cause that will be altered into first arenite so uh, all those spirits part which is immature very vulnerable for the weathering chemical that will be another thing another fact quite uh, is the climate the climate condition will also affect those rocks uh, climate exert a strong control on the type of weathering uh, that take place in the source area of a sediments this in turn influences in composition for example what i'm saying uh, we will get taking example cold arid climate prominently physical weathering producing abundant detrital grains uh, unaltered mineral grain and we have the production of archaeosics in stone uh, that was the condition or that was the climate where we have the predominantly physical weathering is operating at that source area uh, we have a very limited chemical weathering uh, and so that generate archaeosics in stone which is uh, a byproduct uh, if and stone produced in such setting will be uh, relatively immature depending on the source rocks for example uh, when uh, in the previous slide we take example of arcosic stone which is immature uh, which is uh, vulnerable to alteration to new products of elite culinite or uh, clay minerals uh, that is altered to clay mineral why it is so because it is immature is transformed altered easily but if that condition was prevailed some area cool and arid climate have immature city what it's mean climate climatic condition will tell us about this up to spot will tell us about this source area actual uh, where we have Two things is identified from here. What does it mean? Climate can in arid. And the second thing, condition well, we have a relatively immature stance. Just two things is identified. Now, when we take warm and humid climate condition, have a chemical weathering predominate. Uh, so 
that condition will have just to what it's do unstable mineral for example minerals like feldspar remove from a sediments that is used by weathering so this condition warm and humid condition will just uh, remove all unstable mineral remove all those mineral from the product and it will be produce mature type of rock and will produce a more mature sediments than a cool climate so taking example a uh, plot of a spar content and sands in eastern and north, uh, southern north america what does it mean overall there is a reduction in the production of feldspar and stone toward the south why it is so several picter are works here for example we take this area uh, north and south america and we will just uh, define those specter what we are study up to now okay source rock in the north are more granitic source rock where eight the south the major source rock are values sedimentary rock so look into the map where we have a united state north and south we have the south in in in, in the north more granitic source are present where is the south major source rock is paleozoic sedimentary rock so both are different from each other one is sedimentary and another is granitic rock so what are those specter for example tectonic data for example climatic condition and then we have overall those source will be generated uh, and will be altered so what it does it mean climate colder in the north for example and we say the north area where we have a cool climate condition and we have what we have a north granitic source rock and cool climate condition so what does this mean so the physical weathering is important producing mature sediments another thing many sediments were produced during glaciation which only breaks down source rock by physical processes uh, warmer in south so that chemical weathering is produce a more mature sediments uh, in the south area where we have the production of it is closer to the uh, tropic of cancer and that area will have just generate what does it mean is a warm hot and humid area where we have the generation of those chemical uh, chemically weathered sediments and produce mature sediments transport distance another fact uh, the south has many rivers that is transported sediments over a long distance increasing the maturity of the sands for example uh, one cycle of uh, transportation or two cycle of uh, deposition one cycle of deposition or two cycle of deposition it means that the where the sediments uh, they are carried from a longer distance will uh, will be spherically uh, sorted and very good sorted uh, sediments mature sediments and then the deposition of those sediments will generate a good reservoir rock another thing increasing maturity of the sands will have uh, the influencing factor is colorado river Rio, or grand river and in mississippi rivers those rivers just carry those sediments from a longer distance and then they deposited those so well sorted a uh, well compacted well sorted rocks and then we have a spherical sediments they are carried from a longer distance we have a very good reservoir rock as well thank you so much and if you have any question related to the uh, proinon you can ask into the comment section below